Hi everybody, my name's Julia from Bobbins and Buttons and today I'm going to tell you about my latest new pattern. So the Millie pattern almost didn't get published um, because it was scheduled to be ready around July and then it became um, a victim to all kinds of problems along the way and I ended up publishing it at the end of the summer. Um, so by that stage I'd already photographed all the samples and um, for the instruction book and the promotion um, with summer in mind. So really the, the photos weren't quite so relevant to the season but um, I decided to carry on partly because when it went to the testers they showed me lots of different ways of wearing it um, and showed different fabrics that work really well. Um, so I decided it's actually quite a versatile style that works across the seasons and there's also a possibility you might be going away for some sun in over Christmas so I thought I'm going to carry on and publish it. <laughs> the pattern offers three styles they're all based around having this wide band at the top, wide straps and a zip at the back. So the band is designed to be quite fitted around above the bust line. The pinafore style has bust darts and then it goes into an A-line shape so it's looser around the waist and easy over the hips. Um, it also has these large feature pockets. Um, and these are made by um, being completely bagged out so it makes it easier to make a nice neat finish around the edge of those pockets. So like I said I made my versions um, very much with summer in mind so my hot, hot pink and coral version was made in craft weight cotton which worked really nicely for a sort of sun dress version of the pinafore dress. Um, but I'm going to show you some pictures now of the pattern testers variations just so you can see how it can be um, made and how it looks in different ways. So first up I've got Beth and she made her version in an Essex linen cotton blend which is a slightly heavier weight fabric so it gives it much more of a pinafore um, style that could be worn over a t-shirt which is how she's wearing it here. She also made it all in one colour, so it's just a solid pinafore style which works really nicely and I love how she's layered it up over the t-shirt. And She also um, added another detail which was really nice. Um, she lined her pockets with a piece of leftover print from another project. So she's got a sort of secret flash of um, a nice print on the inside of her pockets. So it's a great use of um, using up leftover pieces of fabric and also gives you that added designer touch. Nathalie chose to use just one um, fabric as well for her dress. So she's got a subtle floral print I think on this, um, this version and again it just offers a different look. It works really nicely all in one print. There's no need to, to add contrast if you don't want to. And then in contrast to um, just using one colour or one print, Karen chose to use two different contrasts um, and a print. So again, giving it a very different look. And I think this one has a lovely sort of 70s feel about it. So the next version on the pattern is the top version. So this really is just a shortened version of the pinafore dress. But the difference with the, the top is it has um, a faced hem with vents, with side vents. So with the, the facing, the hem facing, you can have this as a feature on the outside or you can sew it so it's not seen and it's just a stitch line on the outside. Again, I've got a couple of different um, pictures to show you of uh, versions made by the testers. So. Um, Helen made her top in a print and then she used a complementing colour to um, make the, the straps, the band and the hem facing. And I think this works really, really nicely. It really frames the print. Also, em Emma made hers in all-in-one print. So again, making it a super versatile top. You could use this um, idea in any sort of wintry fabrics and then team it with a cardigan and you've got a great everyday top. 
So the last version on the pattern is the tiered maxi dress. So rather than having the bust darts and a fitted bust line, it's lightly gathered at the top and then it has the option of three tiers which are each gathered onto the last. So it's really nice and full with lots of swish potential. Um, so I made mine in a viscose, 100% um, viscose fabric so it was really nice and floaty but I think it would also work really nicely in fabric that's a little bit more crisp especially if you want a, a fuller kind of um, silhouette. I've got a couple of pictures here of um, versions the testers made. So Marty's made hers in uh, multiple different fabrics so I love how this looks um, and it's a great idea if you've got scraps left over from previous projects that would work together to make a dress making it a perfect scrap buster um, but she's also missed off one tier to make it a shorter dress and she's layered it up so again just showing lots of different options then Diana's used um, a viscose fabric and just made uh, the whole whole dress in one fabric which looks great but I love how she's layered it up here with a cosy cardigan just to um, make it a bit more versatile for different um, different seasons. So lastly I just wanted to run through some fabric options that would work really well for the Millie variations. Um, so for the pinafore or the top I think for this time of year a lightweight needle cord would work really nicely and, and be quite seasonal. I've got a whole new range of colours in this woven needle cord so I'll add a link below so you can see all the colours um, but you could also do a mix and match with solid and a print so I've got some prints um, also in stock so they would work really nicely together for either the top or the pinafore. Um, I've also got these new Czech double gauze, these really large checks which I think are gorgeous and I think these would make lovely um, really comfortable versions of the top and I'm quite keen to have a play around with doing some bias cut um, checks for the, the top band or even maybe the bottom band as well. Um, I think that would work for the interfaced pieces but you'd have to be a bit careful um, with the the bias cut on, on this fabric but it would look stunning. So I've got that in the dusky pink and anthracite and I've also got the blue and mustard version of that, both really great colours. Um, and then I also, I, I, the original versions I made in craft weight cotton and again I've got a whole range of colours in craft weight cotton just in solid colours and some prints so you could mix and match a whole um, you know rainbow of different options with those and just play around with whatever you like but the other idea around that is that you could use up um, pieces that you've got left over from another project for your um, facing or as Beth did for your internal pocket linings and things so there's some good options there for using up bits and pieces um, or as Helen did, you could mix and match plain um, with print, also looks really good. Um, and then if you are planning a warm getaway uh, or live in a warm climate anyway, I think these striped, I really fancy having a play around with some striped um, double gauze or this rustic cotton I think would look really good um, for the tiered version. And again, I was thinking about playing around with the stripes so that the, some of the stripes run horizontally and some run um, uh, vertically. So that, I think this uh, fluoro with the cream would look great. Um, or these, um, I've got a couple of colourways in this stripe as well, which I think would be quite fun. So I hope you enjoyed that little video, um, if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.